Neuroticism was also my first time in the studio. Uh, it was also my first time in the studio with Carcass. It was my second time in a studio full stop, in a, in a real studio. And um, yeah, I mean, I guess I just kept in the background a bit. I mean, you know, I wasn't really sure how everything worked. And we, we, I think it was great that we had Colin Richardson producing. It was good that we had a producer. Was that the first time we went to Park Street. Yeah, yeah. That, that was Adam in those days. Oh, yeah, was, was yeah. It was yeah. Adam, yeah. sort of outside yeah. Liverpool somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think, um, like I mentioned actually, you know, on the, on the Thursday, the thing with him was um, <coughs> he got in the band and um, we just trusted him. I mean, it wasn't like, oh, you're just going to play second guitar. We actually trusted him to come up with riffs and he, he did come up with great riffs. So, yeah, it was just brilliant. It just expanded the whole range of the band, really. Yeah, certainly. I mean, a lot of the stuff he came up with was really catchy. And the same, I mean, for the Heartwork record, the same thing. Um, but you know some really strong riffs. It's like a big jig. It was like a jigsaw puzzle. Every song, wasn't it? Lots could of I, riffs. Could I be complete slash and throw this into the equation? Yeah. For the period you weren't virtuosos by that point. You were still. Oh yeah, yeah, And that's that's what made the sound as well. You were still learning to play. Yeah, Absolutely. because like we were when, we the, when we did the third record, we we still didn't really know how to play solos properly. But we. we how do you explain did. the first yeah. this attack demo when you were like shredding? I wasn't much ready. You fucking were. Well, I haven't <laughs> heard that for a while. I don't think okay. it was. I'm going to stick this on this uh, yeah. every day. <laughs>